Hello everyone, the Lord be with you. As we light these candles, we ask you to guide us through our lives. Help us to be kind and helpful to one another. We ask that your light will shine brightly in us so that we can pass your light on to others. Amen. What are you good at? We all have something we're good at and we enjoy doing. Jesus told us that all the things that we're good at are gifts from God, our talents. And he told a parable about how God wants us to use the talents that God has given us. So let's hear from the Bible what Jesus had to say. Jesus was teaching his disciples about the kingdom of heaven. He said, the kingdom of heaven is like this. Once there was a man with money, mounds of money, mountains of money, more money than you could imagine. One day the man decided to take a long trip. So he called three of his servants together and told them what he wanted them to do with his money while he was gone. The first servant was the hardest worker of all. So the man said to him, Here are ten valuable silver coins. Use them wisely. We'll see how well you've done when I return. The second servant was a hard worker too. So the man said to him, Here are five valuable silver coins. Use them wisely. We'll see how well you've done when I return. But the third servant was not a hard worker at all. In fact, he was rather lazy. So the man gave him just one valuable silver coin. Use it wisely, he said. We'll see how well you've done when I return. So the man with money went away. And after a long, long time, he came back again. Tell me he said to the first servant. How did you get on? What did you do with my money? You gave me ten valuable silver coins, said the first servant. I put them to work. I used them to do lots of good things. And look, I made ten more valuable silver coins. Twenty coins altogether, exclaimed the man with money. Well done. You showed me I could trust you and now I have much bigger things for you to do. And what about you? said the man with money to the second servant. How did you get on? What did you do with my money? You gave me five valuable silver coins, said the second servant. I put them to work as well. I used them to do lots of good things. And look, I made five more valuable silver coins. Ten coins altogether, exclaimed the man with the money. Excellent. And now I have a better job for you as well. Finally, the man with the money turned to the third servant. And how did you get on? he asked. The third servant hummed and hawed and looked at his feet. Well, sir, he said, I know how much you like your money and how disappointed you'd be if I lost it. So I just dug a hole and buried it in the ground. You gave me one valuable silver coin, so here is your silver coin back again. The man with the money was furious. Don't blame this on me, he shouted. I gave you that money to use, to put to work, so that you could make more and you just couldn't be bothered. Stuck it in a hole? If you'd had the, taken the time to stick it in the bank, it would at least have earned a little bit of interest. Get out of my sight, you lazy man. You're fired. And he took that servant's valuable silver coin and gave it to the first servant. So off they went. The man with the money and his two hard-working servants, off to bigger and better things. And the third servant, he walked sadly away 
in search of another job. Jesus was talking about the kingdom of heaven. In God's kingdom, we are to use all the gifts and talents that God has given us, not to hide them away. We know that if we have a talent but we don't practice, then we get worse. But if we do practice, we get better and we develop new talents as well. So today and this week, as you go around, think of the things you're good at and think of ways that you can use them to do good for others. I'm going to pray a prayer now. At the end, when I say Amen, if you want to join in with my prayer, you say Amen as well. Dear God, thank you that you give us all gifts and talents. Help us not to hide them away, but to use them for the good of others and to enjoy them and to thank you for them. Amen. Now let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Now go, in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.